Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video uh, explaining how to import video from the Canon 550D into Final Cut Pro. I uh, had a lot of trouble with this at the start and I could never find a definite answer on the internet and then uh, I just last night figured out how to do this so I decided to post it up and hopefully help some of you guys out. Uh, if you have the 550D you'll no doubtly know that when you record uh, films, like I've got one here, this MVI 0030 mod and you get, go to get info, you'll notice that the codec is H.264 which you'll probably have realized by now is not a very uh, good codec for editing with what you need to do is change to something uh, like Apple ProRes was a big one that kept popping up for me but for some reason I couldn't do that to change your codecs you want to uh, download this program here, MPEG Stream Flip it's a very good free program, very easy to use you open up, you drag in your files then you go export is quick time. There's plenty of uh, tutorials around on how to use MPEG Stream Clip, so I'll avoid all that. And here's the one I made earlier. You see here the converted file. And um, Go to get info and you see uh, Apple Intermediate Codec. Now that's the one I'm using because for some reason I can't get ProRes. I, it's just not an option for me to use. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because I'm using an older version of Final Cut Pro. So uh, I go open Final Cut Pro. <coughs> You can see here, it's, uh, there's no uh, no sequence certain set up yet, so I'll do all that now. Open up a new sequence, and it's asking me what my presets want to be. Now, if you're using um, like a, a DV cam tapes and all that, you know you've got all these uh, options here, DV options. But since I converted to an Apple Intermediate Codec, that's what I'm going to be using here. Um, 1080 and 50 obviously because it's um, I'm working on PAL and um, I guess if you're using uh, NTSC you use 1080 i60 or if you're using not full HD use that one but I'm using this one so go ahead and open that up and if I import the two files I can show you what the problems are Okay, so here's my original one, and it's in the H.264 codec, so this just won't work. Bring it down, it needs to be rendered, and you might not think that's a, bad, a big deal, but this is only about a 30 second clip, and if I try and render it, oh, sorry, it's just telling me the file's not saved. <coughs> if I try and render it, it's going to tell me it's going to take about 20 minutes to do it. For a 30 second clip, it's pretty ridiculous and you haven't even begun editing yet, so it's not a very viable thing to do. So cancel that because you don't need that. And delete that. So we've got our converted one, which is in uh, Apple Intermediate Codec. Our sequence is, inter is Intermediate Codec. Everything should be fine. No, we still have to render. So and you're going to get similar render times as well. So what I've realized the problem was the sequence settings. If you uh, right click on the clip you want to uh, use and go to uh, clip settings, sorry, um, item properties and go to format, you'll see here um, all the different options, or not options, uh, different attributes to the file. Frame size, compressor, all that sort of stuff, right? So you have Apple Intermediate Codec. Uh, but the big thing here is pixel aspect which is square and what I realize is that the sequence settings don't set up your aspect uh, pixel aspect for square so just cancel that and all you need to do very simply is right click on sequence and go to settings and here you can change all the settings for your sequence see here pixel aspect ratio it's in a 16 by 9 format what you need to do is change that to square and then you want to change this width here to 1920 as well so it's the proper size and just click OK and that's it that's it done drag down your converted file and there it is doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be rendered just, uh, just turn off the audio on that it's just a quick test video that I was making walking around my house test out the camera and it works as you can see great
So that's it, guys. It's a real simple solution to what seems to be a very big problem that no one can seem to find the answers to, or a definite answer. Don't know if this will definitely work for you, but it's what's worked for me, and hopefully it'll work for somebody, and I've helped out somebody, but it's definitely been a big headache of mine that's been solved, so happy enough about that. But uh, if this video helped you, uh, like it, favorite it, leave a comment, and uh, hope to be doing something like this again soon.